What's up YouTube, welcome to .NET Move. In this video, I will show you how to import jQuery or how to use jQuery in your Angular 4 applications. Before starting this video, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please thumbs up this video. If you are new here, please be subscribed to this channel .NET Move. So let's get started. This is my Visual Studio Code Editor. I will be using this IDE for demonstration purpose. First of all, we have to create an Angular 4 application. For that, let me navigate to the project folder, click on file, then open folder. Then we have to select a folder for this project. So I will select this folder, click on select folder. So here we are inside this folder. Now we need to create an Angular 4 application inside this project folder. In order to create an Angular 4 application, we have to use the Angular CLI commands. You can type these commands inside command prompt or you can use the integrated terminal inside this IDE here. So command will be like this ng new then project name. So I will name this uh, project as Angular 4 import jQuery. Hit enter. Currently, creation of this project is in progress. It will take some time to complete. So here we have created the project successfully. You can see the project folder here. Inside the SRC folder, you can see the default app component. Now we need to run this application. For that, you can use this command ng serve double hyphen open. Then it will compile this project and it will open this uh, angular for application in your default browser sorry we have to navigate into the project folder for that I will use the command cd then project folder name hit enter now we can use this command ng serve double hyphen open currently our application looks like this now we have to add jQuery into our angular 4 application for that we have two methods one is direct method and one is npm install method first of all i will show you the direct method for that you can go to this website official website for jquery jquery.com then look for cdn reference for this jquery library here i will use the google cdn click on google cdn then you can see the reference here so this is the latest version so i will copy this script reference from here and then i will paste the script reference inside index.html before body close here so here we have added jquery into our angular 4 application directly now let's check how we can add jquery using npm commands for that i will comment this script reference here now we need to install jquery into application using npm commands for that i will open one more integrated terminal for that you can click on this plus now navigate into this project folder hit enter then use this command npm install jquery double hyphen save hit enter so it will install jquery package into our angular 4 application so here we have installed jquery into angular 4 application install jquery can be seen under this node modules here then look for jquery here so here we have the jquery folder if you can't see this folder after installation please refresh the folder using this button here inside jquery folder you can see the distribution file dist inside the folder you can see the different javascript file for the library so we will be using this one jquery min.js so i'm going to add this jquery library globally into this application for that you can go to the uh, file here angular-cli.json there you can see an array for scripts global scripts so here we need to pass the jquery file path reference here we need to understand that when we reference a file path inside angular 4 application the root folder will be this one src for now we have jquery library inside this node underscore modules so first of all we have to get out of this folder for that you can use two dots followed by a forward slash 
then node underscore modules then forward slash jquery then dist then jquery dot min dot js so here we have added the jquery library into our application so let me confirm this path go to node modules then jquery then look for dist folder then you can see the file jquery min.j so here we have added jquery library globally into this application when we change a file inside this src folder then this page this application will be automatically reloaded to get new updates but it won't be the case with this file which is outside src folder angular cli for that in order to get these new changes in this application we have to rerun this application so i'm going to stop this application using this shortcut ctrl c then it will ask do you want to terminate this bad job so i will pass five four years then i'm going to rerun this application using this command ng serve double hyphen open so now we have discussed how to add jquery into angular 4 application using two methods using direct method and npm install method now let's look how we can use jquery in angular 4 application for that go to the default component app component inside src here is the html let me get rid of these html controls from here and i'm gonna add a button here button button text will be click me let me save this and here we have a single button now i'm going to add click event for this button using jquery for that go to this typescript file here first of all we have to declare jquery symbol here declare var then dollar symbol it's of the type any so it can be any type now i'm going to implement ng on it lifecycle hook so we can import on in it from angular core then i will implement ng on it lifecycle hook here on in it ng on it now inside this method ng on it we can directly write our jquery codes we don't have to check whether dom is ready or not like we have done in previous traditional applications we can write our jquery code directly here so i'm going to add button click even for all buttons button click function alert hi let me save this let me click this button so here we have the alert that's it guys in this video we have discussed how to import jquery into our angular 4 applications if you found this video helpful please thumbs up this video and for more awesome videos like this please be subscribed to this channel.net more have a nice day bye